dormant, active, or in between. Volcanoes are found all over the world, and they're even more terrifying than you may think. But they're also far more interesting and exciting than you'd probably imagine, and we're here to tell you why. From lava channels on Mars to the realities of black lava, we've got it all here. This is All You Need to Know About Volcanoes and Lava. 14. There are three types of volcanoes. Though all volcanoes are made from extremely hot magma, working its way to our planet's surface and then erupting, there are multiple different kinds. A cone volcano is typically the smallest of the three. They're usually made from smaller eruptions, which only produce a cone-looking mountain around 1,312 feet or 400 meters tall. Then there are shield volcanoes. These are wide open ones with sloping flanks, and they normally ooze out lava with low viscosity for dozens of miles. The last of the volcano types is the stratovolcano. This is probably what you picture when you think of a volcano, as they have multiple kinds of lava inside, and when they erupt, they explode, projecting rock and ash to great heights in the sky. 13. There are different types of lava. For the most part, there are three main types of lava out there. Mafic, Intermediate, and Felsic. These three are also called Basaltic, Andesitic, and Rhyolictic, and they are the three most common types of lava, although there are more, but they're very rare. Mafic, Intermediate, and Felsic are differentiated by their viscosity, mineral content, and the amount of volcanic gases which are dissolved in the liquid. Mafic flows have the lowest viscosity of the three, as well as the lowest gas content. It's estimated that 90% of lava flows are mafic, and they're the bright red eruptions that you tend to think of when you think of lava. Intermediate flows have higher gas content and viscosity, and are made up of around 60% silica. Mount St. Helens is an example. Felsic lavas are the rarest and have the highest viscosity and gas content. They are 70% silica and are the most explosive. 12. They can be in three different states. Volcanoes can be three things active, dormant, or extinct. Obviously, an active volcano is either active at the moment or has been active in historical times in the last thousand years or so. A dormant volcano is one that has erupted in historical times and could, potentially, erupt yet again someday, but hasn't any time recently. And then there's the extinct volcano, which is just as it sounds. It's a volcano that scientists don't think will erupt again. 11. We've been fascinated for a long time. Did you know that the first ever known depiction by humans of a volcano doing its thing came around 8,500 years ago? It was found in Catahoyic, in a Neolithic settlement on a mural. Some argue that it's not an eruption, but a leopard skin, but most scientists believe it is, in fact, an erupting volcano. There may be older documentation, though, in Chauvet Pont d'Arc, which is 22 miles from Bas Viverdi's volcanic field in France. There are cave paintings that date back 37,000 years that feature some sort of spray amidst the other drawings. French researchers believe they are likely depictions of some volcanic eruption that was not known about before. 10. They can grow really quickly. Now, most volcanoes grow pretty slowly and take time to appear, but that's not the case for all of them. In fact, they can appear very quickly, virtually overnight, and we've seen that happen in the past. A cinder volcano in Mexico, called Paracutan, appeared in a cornfield one day, February 20th, 1943, and within one week, it had grown to five stories tall. By the end of 1943, the overnight volcano had grown to more than 1,102 feet, or 336 meters tall. Then, when it finally stopped rising in 1952, it was 1,391 feet, or 424 meters tall. That's a full-blown volcano grown in just nine years. And that's pretty quick according to geology standards, and by any other person's standards. Amazing. 9. They erupt due to escaping magma. The Earth's mantle is a layer of extremely hot rock that extends all the way down to our planet's core. It's located a measly 18.6 miles or 30 kilometers beneath our feet, and that is where it stays day in and day out, until it decides it's going to rise up and find its way to the Earth's surface, which it's able to do because it is so hot that it's able to squeeze its way around and create magma chambers. Magma is also lighter than other rock, so it literally rises through the cracks and other weaknesses in the crust of the Earth until it reaches the surface. When it finally gets there, it spews out as volcanic ashes, rock, and lava. It gets called lava once it's up and out of the ground. Beneath the surface, it's magma. 8. There are lots and lots of eruptions. 
In fact, while you're reading this, roughly 20 volcanoes are erupting around the world. Some are just ongoing and have been for a long time, but others are experiencing new activity. Between 50 and 70 erupt during a typical year, and more than 160 volcanoes have been active in the last 10 years. Some geologists believe that approximately 1,300 volcanoes have erupted in the previous 10,000 years, which is a pretty significant number. There are also many we don't even realize are erupting. Why? Well, around two-thirds of all volcanoes erupt underneath the sea, and a lot are erupting consistently without our knowledge. So if we add underwater volcanoes to the mix, it's estimated that around 6,000 volcanoes have erupted in the last 10,000 years. That's a whole lot of scary activity. 7. There might be lava channels on Mars. It's the truth. It's well known that there are deep channels that crisscross the surface of the Martian planet. But what's debated is whether they were made by hot water or lava. Researchers analyzed a flow of lava which happened in Hawaii in 1859 to compare, and they believed that the similarities were striking. In the end, they concluded that the channels we see might have been made by hot, fast-flowing, low-viscosity lavas, rather than the water they once believed to be responsible. Another separate study in 2017 concluded the same about a different part of the planet. It said that channels once thought to be made by water might be better explained by fluid lava flowing and flooding pre-existing impact craters and channels. 6. Supervolcanoes are not fun We all probably know what a supervolcano is. We've been told time and time again about Yellowstone and what could happen if it erupts. Volcanoes are measured on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, and that measures the amount of material that's released in an eruption. Mount St. Helens, a big, well-known eruption in our time, measured a 5 out of 8 on the index. But what about an erupted supervolcano, one we can look at and see effects? Toba, a supervolcano that erupted 73,000 years ago, created a caldera measuring 30 kilometers wide and 100 kilometers long. It also released approximately 1,000 cubic kilometers of material into the atmosphere and plunged the Earth into the Ice Age that spanned the entire globe. It's been considered an 8 on the VEI. 5. You can outrun lava We typically see volcanoes spewing lava from their tops at incredible rates and in destructive style. But what needs to be understood is that usually, there aren't many people near the top of the volcano when it's erupting, so that lava isn't causing many fatalities. Between the years 1500 and 2017, more than 214,000 people lost their lives due to volcanic activity, but of those, only 659 were attributed to lava. The typical mafic lava flow moves at just one mile per hour, unless they're on a steep slope or part of a lava tube. 4. Real Dangers of Volcanoes One thing you do need to watch out for though, if you're near an eruption, explosions. If you're anywhere around the volcano, watch out for sudden outbursts of fluid lava, as those can be highly dangerous. Another cause of loss of life is the cutting off of escape routes or supplies, and those are self-explanatory. Sometimes, lava will react with vegetation, water, and fuel, causing even more explosions you don't want to be around. Lahars, which is a dangerous mud flow on the side of a volcano, cause much destruction and as many as 50,000 deaths are attributed to them. Perhaps the most dangerous thing about volcanoes are pyroclastic density currents, or hot gas, ash, and rocks moving at high speeds, and volcano-related tsunamis. No volcanoes for us, please. 3. Black lava is a thing What causes this strange dark lava is its temperature, which is far lower than most other lavas out there. While most lava lives its short life at between 1,300 degrees Fahrenheit and 2,300 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on its composition, Old Donyor Langhai in Tanzania, Africa, has lava that burns at just 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and the volcano itself is the only known active carbonadite volcano in the world. Carbonadite is an igneous rock which is made from mainly carbonate materials and makes the lava flow black instead of red, and when it cools and dries, it becomes white. Oldonyo Langhai is responsible for the production of a lot of the world's rare earth minerals. 2. Two huge volcanoes are next door neighbors. Mauna Kea, a prized feature in the Hawaiian Islands and the tallest volcano on land in the world. This massive shield volcano stands 13,802 feet or 4,207 meters, but it's not the largest volcano in the world. The largest is Mauna Kea's neighbor, Mauna Loa which stands 13,677 feet, or 4,169 meters tall. 
Now, you may say that Mauna Loa is smaller than Mauna Kea, and if we were just talking about height, that would be the case. But when you look at the overall mass, Mauna Loa takes the cake. It measures around 2,000 square miles. Those aren't the largest volcanoes in the world, though. On land, yes. But there's an underwater volcano called Tamu Massif that's far larger than either of those volcanoes. It's said to cover an area of around 120,000 square miles, which makes Mauna Loa about 2% of Tamu Massif's size. It stands 14,633 feet tall. We've sure learned a lot about volcanoes so far, and we still have one more awesome volcano fact to go. But first, a question. What's your favorite thing about volcanoes? Do you have any first-hand experience of your own with some of nature's most intense landmasses? We'd love to hear your excellent volcano stories below. 1. There are taller volcanoes out there. When it comes to our very own solar system, our volcanoes definitely aren't the tallest. The tallest happens to be a volcano on Mars, called Olympus Mons, and it's a giant shield volcano. Olympus Mons measures 16.7 miles tall and 341.7 miles across. While that may sound gigantic, and it is, consider why it was able to get so tall. Plate tectonics don't exist on Mars, thus one single hotspot was allowed to work its magic and bubble away for billions of years. This bubbling in one spot allowed for one enormous volcano to rise up and keep rising. 341 miles wide and 16 meters tall? Sounds like science fiction. If this video taught you anything new about volcanoes or lava, do us a favor and leave a like. Subscribe to our channel below or by clicking on the logo right here on this screen so that you never miss any of our excellent uploads. And be sure to check out this next video we've selected just for you.